So you know what everybody says, you've got to spin with intention, you've got to have a project in mind. However, I think a lot of us, we just love spinning so much that we get the fibre, we blend them, we make these gorgeous colours, and then we think, oh, what am I going to do with this? In this video, I'm going to talk about using your hand spun yarn in hand knitted projects and just a few of the things that you need to consider when you're choosing what you're going to make out of it. Hi, my name's Becca. I'm a hand spinner, knitter and would-be weaver and you're very welcome to my home studio in West Wales. For this process, we're going to need a few simple tools, a ruler, something to write with, something to write on and a selection of needle sizes. So I've been into the stash and I've got a couple of skeins out and I'm going to assess them. So first off, um, these really are my colours and these are very much my partner's colours and I actually think I'm going to knit something for myself. So the first thing that I would do is I would try and remember how I'd spun it and what it was spun out of. Always much better if you actually label it but you know particularly if you've got a middle-aged brain, I don't remember to label things. But I do remember that I span this sort of semi-worsted. There was quite a lot of merino in here. There's recycled sari silk. Um, I think there's a bit of uh, corridale. There's all sorts of things in here, but it is spun fairly fine. Um, I generally spin a little bit um, chunkier than this, but I was thinking that maybe it was going to be a wrap or something so I wanted something that was a slightly lighter weight. The other thing is if you're trying to record a YouTube video and there's a magpie on your bird feeder then your dog's gonna go crazy and it's gonna interrupt everything that you're doing and your train of thought and all sorts of other things like that. So anyway back to yarn never mind about Jack Russell's. So this is my yarn and as I said it's got a mixture of fibres in it. So what I need to do is just get my wraps per inch and you can get tools to do that. Honestly, I've lost more tools than I care to remember. A ruler or a pencil, anything where you can measure off an inch and wrap it round. And I'll just drop a photograph in here of um, that because you know, me sitting here doing that was gonna be really boring. So we have our ruler covered and you probably can't tell, I'll just have to take my word for it, but that is 24 wraps per inch. So now we've got our wraps per inch, we're going to look at our wraps per inch chart to give us an idea of what sort of size needles to knit our tension square on. And this chart comes from the lovely book Spin to Knit, which is probably about 20 years old because I, and I learned spin, so quite a lot of my books are that sort of age. And it's saying here sort of 3.5 to 3.75 millimetres, which is a UK, no, that's UK sizes, which is, a, and then US sizes are three to five. Uh, because I actually want to have something a little bit finer, I'm actually going to knit it on slightly smaller needles because I think I want to knit socks out of it. So I'm going to do a couple of tension squares and by the magic of YouTube, I'll show you them now. So I've knitted up my two tension squares and strictly speaking, you should really knit them up eight inches, which is 20 centimetres. Mm, don't always do that, a bit naughty. Anyway, so I've got my two different sizes and you can see there's plenty of stretch in this but the finer one on the smaller needles is what I want to use. And so I just need to measure across to get my um, stitches I need per centimeter, and then I can work my pattern out by then. Now, this is ideal for socks because it was spun in a worsted style or semi-worsted style, and it's got plenty of bounce and give in it, but obviously it's going to depend what style of yarn you've got. And as you get a little bit more experienced, you can obviously spin much more intentionally. And I think that 
that is something that I'm definitely going to try and do a little bit more of because I am very guilty of just going, oh, lovely colours, lovely yarn, and just making something that I actually haven't really got a use for. I think there is some value in just putting it on the shelf and it looking pretty, and obviously it was really enjoyable for me to make the yarn, but definitely I'm going to make it my not New Year's resolution to spin a little bit more intentionally. Top tips for knitting with your hand spun. First of all, when you're spinning it up, write down what your fibres are, how you've spun it, try and keep a record of what the weights are and, and actually how much is in your skein, because that's obviously going to give you a really good guide as to what you can potentially do with it. Then do your wraps per inch, knit a tension square, and hopefully when you've done that, it's going to give you a really good guide as to what sort of projects you're going to knit. Now, this is fairly fine. It's semi-worsted. It's got a bit of silk in it, got a bit of bounce in it. So I'm gonna use it for socks. And I will actually do a whole other episode about knitting it up into socks. But I'm gonna say, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.